So I had to leave. And as I left, Yeovil come straight in for me straight away. So thankfully, I then end up at Yeovil and stayed there Went for back two there, yeah. years. Yeah, and then I'd like to say was there during COVID, which was a mad one when we had mm. playing in the conference. I had to live in the stadium basically, where through wow. COVID and all until we played. In the, really? Yeah, so we all the board and directors boxes were kitted out with bedrooms. So the boys, yeah. yeah, so I boys had to like live in there during the week. Then we'd go away after the weekend on the Saturday after the game. The whole stadium got de uh, cleaned down, everything like that. And then we went back on the Monday, tested, and lived back in the stadium for another oh, week. Mad. So was there yeah. people in the stadium uh, allowed? Uh, no. Like social distancing, that sort of thing, or was it empty? Well, every, yeah, no, it was completely empty at the time, and everyone was like, say, tested before we got in, and then you were almost in your own bubble, like when you were in there, sort of thing. Mm. So yeah, everyone was like, I bet that was rubbish, was it? It was fun if I'm honest. Oh, was it? <laughs> okay. It was actually the lads were actually like, yeah, it was good crap. It was oh, like, okay, yeah. like I say, you, you live, I've been, mean, used to live with like, Bartley, one of the lads like with Charlie Lee was there, Carl Dickinson, and you got really close together actually. And it was a really, again, probably another thing that I was a bit glad that was late, so late on in my career because you sort of got in the back into a change room where mm. like, everyone was good mates, everyone would want to do stuff yeah. together. And obviously, probably even more so because we, everyone was literally living to, with yeah. each other. So I mean, it was definitely an experience to say the least. 